Please welcome a nominee for a Spirit Award for Best Lead Performance, Jeremy Pope. So glad you're here. Have a seat. Welcome, Jeremy. What's up, yeah? <laughs> What's it like for you to watch that? Um, it brings up a lot of feelings and emotions. We shot that movie in 19 days, y'all. Oh. So <laughs> I think about how hard it was to shoot such a beautiful, ambitious film, 19 days in the middle of Jackson, Mississippi. It was like 117 degree weather. Um, it was hot. Sometimes, you know, there was no acting required. You just stood out in the sun and <laughs> it, it did it for you. You didn't have to do anything. Um, but um, I'm very grateful for the film that we made and to be able to share it with the world in this way. I'm, yes. I'm also just grateful, I want the people to know, I'm grateful that you're here because you just finished a Broadway run like four days ago in the collaboration playing Jean-Michel Basquiat. I mean, do you have any energy? How are you even on your feet right now? I'm here, I'm here with y'all. Y'all are giving <laughs> me the love. Thank y'all so much. Um, it's a journey, and it's, it's like, I, I say champagne problems, you know, to be yes. working, to be booked, you know. Right. Um, but I'm, yeah, work, you feel me? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm very grateful to be here with y'all today, yeah. This question sounds simplistic, but where does the inspection fall when you think of, like, the most meaningful things that you've gotten to do in your career so far? Um, it's, you know, it's the inspection changed me in a very real way. This, I think about this movie, had I seen a movie that represented this blackness and this queerness growing up as I was trying to figure out who I was and how I identified. Um, and it's so honest and it's so vulnerable. Um, and it, it took a lot out of me. I think in it, I think you know, this movie is based off of my, my director, Elegance Bratton, and his experiences. So I think I went into the experience just trying to be a vessel for him and go, tell me all the things and I'll portray it. But in that experience of showing up as a strong black man, as a queer individual, it started to bring up some ugly and honest truths within myself and things I hadn't dealt with. Mm. So it became very healing. It was a healing process. 19 days, but I learned a lot um, about myself and just how I want to choose to show up in the work that I'm a part of. And, um, the cost of being an artist and how sometimes it asks you to be so vulnerable and to put so much of yourself out there and it feels scary and it feels daunting but you know you have to believe that as an artist you are a vessel for something bigger than yourself mm. that sometimes the art that we're creating and the time that we we are here on this earth will outlive us and I think I had that experience doing it in the show, like with Basquiat and experiencing his life and what he left and his legacy and just hoping that the projects that I'm a part of, the stories that I'm very fortunate to tell, that it will plant a seed for something bigger than just Jeremy Pope, but it will be like a beacon of representation or a beacon of a conversation of what it means to be a black gay artist in Hollywood. Like, what does that feel like? What does that look like? So. I'm very happy to be a representative of that, and the inspection gave me an opportunity to do that. I love that. Your fellow cast member and executive producer on this film is Gabrielle Union, who, and I've gotten the chance to speak with the two of you together about this film several times. I love her. I love her too, on it, the record yeah. and off the record. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's inspiring to me, the way she supports her trans child. Right. Um, and at the same time, she, you guys have a super tough relationship. What has the evolution of your relationship been with Gab? Right. As you've kind of prepped this movie, shot this movie, and now promoted it. It's crazy because like me and Gab, the way that it all came together, she literally slid into my DMs on Twitter. <laughs> so imagine just being like, oh, Gab says what's up, and if you're doing this movie, I wanna do it with you. So cut to us then in Mississippi, working on this project and you know giving all that we have and i just have so much respect for gab um she's been in the business for so many years um but just 
what she does. I say you got to do the work in the streets. And she's really doing the work in the streets as far as protecting her trans daughter, listening to her trans daughter. And, you know, I think that is a big thing when we're having these tough conversations with just how the way that the world is changing and how we can better show up for each other. It's just shut up and listen. And I just, I appreciate her for doing that and making space for stories like the inspection. Um, so, you know, she, it's, it's one of those things, I was talking with my manager earlier, it's like, no one knows the text that you get kind of in private, but she is one of those people that is like, I am here for you, 10 toes down, whatever you need. She showed up to my Broadway show, I think like one of my first previews, I had just figured out all my lines, and I'm like, well, give me a couple shows, but she was there, like a proud mom would be to support and give me the love that I need, so she really is about it in the streets, in real life, and on set, it was the same. It was the same type of love and respect for each other. I love that. Uh, for people who have seen the inspection, or if you haven't, I mean, there's, a lot of it takes place in boot camp, and it's one of these movies where you watch it, at least I do, I was like, how long would I last if, if it was me, Dave, in this boot camp? And the answer is basically like three minutes. <laughs> I would be out. So the fact that your character and, and Elegance himself, your writer-director whose life this is based on, has, was able to go through all this, it's so impressive. Do you think about that when you're filming? Do you think, like, how long would Jeremy last in this? Well, the thing about it is, like, we would get to, you know, being on set and shooting a scene, and I was kind of waiting for my little stunt double to come out, you know? <laughs> I right, well, where, when did, when, where is he on the call sheet? You know what I mean? Like, so I, I understand you need me to do these push-ups and these pull-ups, but like, when is he gonna do it? And how is that gonna look? But it was like up to me and a lot of the takes, it would just be like, elegance would do a thing where they would just kind of throw the camera up and be like, go through it. And I'm like, now this don't feel safe, y'all. <laughs> Like, I, I signed up to be an actor, you know what I mean? Like, show me how to act it, not do it. But um, I was tested, and then you kind of, you know, the macho in you starts to be like, well, let me show them that I could do it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I feel like I've done it. Y'all see it on the screen, so don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> but we know that you could We do know it. that I could, and right. I can, and I did. Yeah. Yeah. You did. I did. <laughs> Listen, Jeremy, thank you for making the trip out here. We love you so much. Thank Jeremy you. Jeremy Pope. Thank you. Right here for a second. All right, up next. Now you're just staying with me for two seconds because I'm going to say up next, also from Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Stephanie Shu. Let's check out a clip.